The city of St. Louis has reinstated their eviction moratorium. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting article again for you today, and it's coming out of the city of St. Louis. Now, for those who watch my videos, they might know that I do invest in the state of Missouri, and uh, I, I specifically invest in Kansas City, but it doesn't surprise me to see that in the city of St. Louis, they are re-implementing their eviction moratorium. Now, I will say right now, my, my voice is you know pretty bad. I've had a bad cold for the last few days, so bear with me. You know I'm gonna do the best I can for this video. But before I get into the article, go ahead, and hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know if you think anywhere else is going to be implementing new eviction moratoriums. OK, I was hoping this stuff would come to an end, but unfortunately, a lot of small municipalities and other places have decided, hey, we're going to keep trying to push, you know, beat this dead horse. OK, I want all of this to come to an end, but it just isn't happening the way I thought it would. So this article, it comes from news.stlpublicradio.org, um, and it says, St. Louis County Council reinstates eviction moratorium. Most evictions in St. Louis County will be on hold in about two weeks. The County Council approved the moratorium four to two on Tuesday. County Executive Sam Page signed the bill Wednesday. It goes into effect 15 days after he signed it. So when they say it, it went into effect on Tuesday, I think they meant Tuesday of last week, right? And so that would mean that, you know, before the end of the month of September, they're gonna have a brand new eviction moratorium in St. Louis, okay? And you would think that by now they would have realized that, hey, this stuff, it, it isn't lawful, it isn't legal, and that it needs to come to an end. And so I'm hoping that, you know, some, Somebody's going to have to file a lawsuit against them because there's no way they're going to just stop putting these things into place unless, you know, there's some direct action that forces them to stop. Um, the moratorium applies to renters or homeowners who have lost wages due to the pandemic and been unable to make rent or mortgage payments. They have to be at risk of becoming homeless or moving into a crowded living setting if they are evicted and must prove to their landlord that they have tried to get all available housing assistance. Days who sponsor the legislation could not immediately be reached for comment. The legislation follows a U.S. Supreme Court decision in August that struck down the national moratorium issued by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The court ruled the CDC exceeded its authority in issuing a national moratorium on renter evictions. The 21st Circuit Court, which covers St. Louis County, lifted its eviction moratorium on August 27th. So, you know, going into the, what it just said in these last couple of paragraphs, right, it says that the moratorium applies to renters or homeowners who have lost wages due to the pandemic and been unable to make rent or mortgage payments. So the question really is then, how do you prove that? Or do you even have to prove that? Or do you just declare it? Well, I declare that I lost wages due to the pandemic. You know, that, that's the biggest problem with all of these moratoriums, okay? So they put that stipulation out there, but the tenant doesn't have to prove any of that, okay? How do you know that the tenant lost wages because of the pandemic and not just because they got fired because they suck at their job? There's no way to prove, you know, either way. You just know that they lost their job. Or how do you know that they, you know, are facing financial hardship, you know, due to the pandemic when they were always fin facing financial hardship before the pandemic and they will still be facing financial hardship after the pandemic, okay? These people who are not paying their rent right now, they're the same people who weren't paying their rent before, okay? That's why this whole thing, you know, talking about, oh, these people are facing hardship, it doesn't make much sense. So the other thing that is said in this paragraph was that um, they must prove to their landlord that they've been trying to get rental assistance, right? Well, so what are they gonna do? Are they gonna, you know, be, you know, mailing forms over to the landlord? I mean, 
what, how is the landlord supposed to know if these people are getting rental assistance unless they are, you know, directly contacted or paid? I mean, you know, there's there's no way. So, you know, basically, you know, they put these rules, they put these stipulations on, you know, who who can be protected, how they can be protected, and they don't give the landlord any way to disprove it. They don't make the tenant prove it. And, you know, they put a landlord in an impossible situation where they're not getting paid rent and maybe the tenant applied for rental assistance, maybe they didn't. Fitch expressed concern over the legality of the bill. I fully expect it to be challenged in court and I fully expect the county to lose, Fitch said. We will have to spend county money again on lawyers to try to defend this in court and we will lose. Fitch said he's worried that this would also affect county landlords who rely on rent payments. And yeah, they, he's absolutely right. So uh, it's said up here that the 21st Circuit Court, which covers St. Louis County, lifted its eviction moratorium on August 27th. So um, I, I don't know much about that case specifically, but what it sounds like is the county already had an eviction moratorium in place and it was lifted by this Circuit Court because uh, it was found to be unlawful. So then what do they do? Of course, they put another unlawful eviction moratorium in place. It'll get challenged in court. The county has to spend a whole bunch of legal fees and money trying to defend it, and they will probably lose again. So this was a dumb move on you know this, this county for trying to even put another eviction moratorium into place. So well, let's see here. St. Louis County received nearly $27 million in federal rental assistance to distribute to residents making no more than $66,300 for a family of four. As of Friday, the county had distributed nearly $9.6 million of that allocation, or about 36%. The state has distributed another $5.5 million to county residents through the Missouri Housing Development Corporation. So they've only distributed a third of the rental assistance. You know, once again, rental assistance is failure, a complete failure, okay? Caught up in a bureaucratic mess. Landlords are not getting paid by it. New guidance from the U.S. Treasury Department allows renters to apply for the money and turn it directly over to their landlords. Dumb idea. Page said in a recent letter to the council that the change would expedite the process and keep our struggling residents in a stable living situation. The moratorium does not apply to evictions for things like criminal behavior or to evictions by the federal government. It also does not reverse any evictions completed before the moratorium takes effect. So yeah, tur turning rental assistance over directly to tenants, what kind of moron came up with that? Okay, what do you think is gonna happen if you give a bunch of money to a tenant who already has a history of not paying to the landlord? They're just gonna pocket it. They're gonna keep it for themselves. They're not gonna pay the landlord. Landlord won't get a dime and they'll end up having to house this tenant for even longer for non-payment of rent. Are, are you kidding me, okay? So they put these eviction moratoriums into place. Then they put stupid rules like that into place with the rental assistance. Landlords get double screwed and the tenant makes out like a bandit. You know, they live for free and essentially get paid to live for free at someone else's property. So yeah, and it's good, if nothing else, that they said the, the moratorium doesn't apply to, you know, evictions for criminal behavior, but notice in there that they also said that it doesn't apply to the federal government. So I'm, I'm, my belief is that that doesn't apply to Section 8 tenants, okay? So what they're basically saying is, yeah, we can still evict Section 8 tenants who don't pay their portion of the rent, because that that shouldn't be happening but oh yeah if you're you know um just a regular small landlord taking all your rent from a private party no 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 or if you're living in federal government housing you know or living in you know like public housing projects oh you we can still evict you but you know we can't no no it, it doesn't apply to the private landlord so once again you know we're talking about more socialist policies okay you know, what applies to you doesn't, you know, um, it applies to you, it doesn't apply to me. That's what the government has been saying for a long time. I am 
really sick of reading all these articles about these new cities and new places that are implementing new eviction moratoriums, you know? And here I am, I'm struggling. I can, you know, barely talk because I'm half losing my voice because I had a cold for the last few days. But I just got to keep bringing you this news because it's, it's really important to know what's going on around the country. And I'd hate to see something like what's going on in St. Louis happen in Kansas City where I do invest.